Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, I've been here a long time, like the lady from Jefferson 34 said, millions of years. And I've seen a lot of debate on this floor and a lot of tough debate. We've had debates on roads, education, many budgets, many social issues, as we know. And uh, some of the most important debates we've had, discussions, bills that we've passed, we're creating jobs. Now I can assure you there's been a lot of coal job discussion in this building since I've been here and I've not been anywhere near a coal mine. And I'll say this, the coal industry has some pretty greedy characters too. Bloody, Har uh, bloody Harlan, what is it, Harlan Bloody Harlan? Go back to the 30s, the 60s, the 70s. But you know what? I voted and I stayed on track for coal jobs because I know no matter how corrupt the industry is, the coal jobs were very important to regions that I barely visited, know very little about, but those jobs were important and I made the, the votes to keep those jobs. I can say right now that if we don't vote for this bill, you're gonna take jobs out of my district because this is where they live in Churchill Downs, Keeneland, and these jobs have been around for 10 years. And there's gonna be some heartache if we don't pass this bill. I don't remember ever making a vote that would kill jobs. That's, this would be a first in my 20 years down here. So I hope we vote for this bill. You know, historical horse racing has been around for 10 years and nobody's complained to me about it. I've not received one complaint. So I hope we vote for that, Mr. Speaker, and I hope we all vote yes on this. Thank you.